with your boy like back in with another YouTube video. In today's video, we're doing WandaVision season number one or whatever. Uh, complete review, like the complete season review here on this channel. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, the MCU Disney show, the, sorry, the first MCU Disney Plus show is finally in the wraps. It is finished. Uh, I think it was a great great starter i think it was really well done very good show really enjoyed it thoroughly enjoyed it and yeah um i've reviewed all the episodes so you guys can go check those out if you want um if you want an in-depth look at all ep all nine episodes but this episode this review is mainly going to be talking about season the season in general uh just talking about stuff just talking about my opinion pretty much on the show itself so yeah uh, and I think, yeah, let's let's get into this. Uh, so th also, there was one thing I realized I missed from the episode nine review. You guys might have seen it, but yeah, I missed one of the post credit scenes by accident, and I'll be talking about that in this video as well. So yeah, um, yeah, let's start off here. Uh, Wandavision, very uh, good show, great Kickstarter for the M these these MCU shows. Like I can't wait for the next one. Um, I, I, honestly, I expect Falcon and Winter Soldier to be different. So, yeah, it's kind of, it's going to be hard to rank these because if you realize WandaVision was more of, uh, was more of like a stranger show and more of a romance with a, with action, action romance kind of thing. Because a lot of the show was based on Wanda and Vision's relationship, right? Uh, so, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be very different, uh, I, that's at least what I think, we, I, we have to see, once, I'll be sure to review Falcon and Winter Soldier every episode, and, and maybe I'll compare the two, uh, if it's comparable even, so, yeah, that, if, in case you're wondering about that, but, yeah, we're strictly talking about WandaVision this episode, or this, this video here, so, yeah, some interesting stuff went down, uh, I must say we got some we got introduced to new characters um that we'll probably see in the MCU more and more uh introduced to new costumes new yeah again new characters new villains whatever uh, yeah it's just it I think it's really interesting in my opinion I think it's awesome new characters and stuff and yeah even though we got new characters the focus was still on Wanda and Vision which I think the uh, show did really well because because we got introduced to quite a few new characters and we got um, uh, old characters came back or at least I think they were old, they were old characters uh, yeah so like we got introduced to Monica Rambo well we technically didn't but we got introduced to her proton basically or adult form or whatever. Uh, Billy and Wiccan, uh, Agatha Harkness, uh, Hayward, a uh, Director Hayward. I don't know what he, what his first name is or what rank he is now because he's arrested. But yeah, um, yeah, that we got introduced to that. Uh, we got reintroduced to Darcy Lewis and Agent Wu. Uh, we both had seen that before. We also got introduced to Sword as well. That's just something that most people didn't realize as well is this this is this is technically our introduction to sword um we kind of saw sword in post credit scene or i can't remember if it was or at the ending of far from home with the scrolls that's the most we've seen of them but this gave more detailed look at sword and exactly what they do and stuff so yeah i thought that was really really interesting in that aspect uh because it introduced some stuff and I'm expecting these MCU shows to be introducing more and more stuff like Falcon and Winter Soldier. I think is going to introduce some new characters as well. So yeah, I thought that was very important to mention. Is 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 that? Yeah, I I just thought it was really inter really interesting adding in those characters and stuff. Uh, especially because some of these characters could definitely be play a role in the MCU in the later picture, like Agatha Harkness. They did a wonderful job with her because if you realize she was not killed in a sense, she's still available to come back as a villain. 
pretty much. So I don't think it's going to be the last time we see her. She's probably coming back. Um, well, we don't know exactly how or what or whatever. So, yeah. Um, yeah, again, really interesting. Uh, yeah, it. this show is a little bit strange because it's one of those shows. It's more of like they... It's like you start off seeing some stuff, and you're trying to piece together what it what's happening, um, piece by, and you're giving like a little bit of piece for every episode kind of thing until you finally figure it out. Which that's one thing I really think was really well done in the show, is it kept you interested. Like you, a lot of people would have if it was just a sitcom thing, you would have been like, some people would like it, some people wouldn't, but like. I think everyone, most people like it because it's giving you, even sitcom fans or MCU fans or whatever, they still like it because it's giving you piece by piece and just keeping it interesting. That's what I like about WandaVision because they weren't thinking, at least I don't think they were thinking, I don't think they were thinking, oh, we gotta make a sequel or something so we can't give away everything, whatever. I'm pretty sure their intentions were to just show the one season and what whatnot. And I think it's really well done. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure with these Marvel shows, they're try- they're treating it like a movie, pretty much. Like a, I don't know what time length, but like six hour movie or something like that. So I, I definitely, I, I could watch these MCU shows for a while now. Because if they s- stay in the direction like WandaVision did, I think they're going to be really, we're, we're going to have a real fun time watching these MCU shows. And even the Star Wars shows, because the Star Wars shows are really good as well. Uh, but, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the villain, villain-wise, um, I thought the villains were very interesting. I thought Agatha Harkness was, was a pretty cool a villain. Or I, I, w- I was kind of, like, disliking her, but, yeah, that's for a different video slash, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Hayward is definitely an interesting other, another interesting character because a big part of this show was also everyone thinking about their theories. I thought that was super interesting. Like everyone was thinking theory wise and just thinking all these different things and they were like, oh, maybe this could be, for example, the the X-Men theory or whatever. That still could be live and well. You never know. And I think the multiverse is definitely going to be happening. Uh, because I'm going to say this one thing before or two in the last episode, Agatha was like, you don't know what you just unleashed. You're going to need my help or whatever. I'm pretty sure what she was meaning by that is I think she just made the multiverse, uh, happen or something as bad is coming. Like maybe Galactus could come. Like we don't actually, maybe even Kang the Conqueror. Maybe she's hinting at that. Who knows? There's so many possibilities. Like, even if they didn't specifically go like, oh, the X-Men are coming. Doesn't mean it's not happening. Um, or like, Tobey Mag- like the two Spider-Man or whatever coming from different universes and stuff. Doesn't mean it's still still not happening. It just, it just doesn't say. It's Kevin Feige, that's what's good about like Marvel and stuff. They're not specifically giving you out information. They're trying to make you help you think. That's what, that's what's good about this show. So, yeah, I wouldn't shut down all those theories like that. Uh, so, yeah, I wouldn't shut down all those theories and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, next up, we're going to be talking maybe about the, just the television aspect or the cinematic aspect or whatever you want to say, like movie aspect or whatever. So... So yeah, um, definitely was an interesting uh, show in that aspect. I really liked the different ways they were doing it. Like the sitcom thing was a different touch on it. I thought it was really well done. Um, special effects were well, well done. Like especially stuff like when Wanda was in color and she it was black and white, like from the fifties, what whatnot. I thought that was a different, uh, definitely a really cool touch that they included in the show. Uh, though that was a really good in special effects wise, it was really well done. 
and I can I understand now why it was taking so long to come out because those special effects were really well done. I if 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 this is what we're talking about for special effects for shows, I don't mind waiting for a little bit longer than usual. Uh, yeah, if it's gonna come out like this, I wouldn't mind waiting. Uh, that's just me being honest. And Elizabeth Olsen did, and acting wise. Uh, I think Paul Bettany does a good job of being Jarvis slash, or not Jarvis, Vision. Uh, I think he does a really good job. Uh, especially when the white Vision was versing the regular colored Vision, the red one or whatever. I thought he did a really got good job in doing both those characters. Uh, Elizabeth Olsen, she was doing, does a really good job of her character, uh, yeah, she does a good job of acting. Agnes or Agatha or Catherine Hahn who plays who plays her. I've seen her in a diff- a bunch of different things as well. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, her her role is kind of always this friendly kind of person but not really friendly. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, th- her acting was all right, but like she pretty much plays the same role in all and everything like some nice lady turn snarky whatever obviously she was a villain in this but yeah i definitely thought she she did all right she did all right and the other casting like uh tiana paris who plays uh monica rambo or photon or whatever she did a good job as well i thought she did really well um i think she did the best acting job out of all of them uh that's just my opinion i really thought her acting job was really well done I know a lot of people think Elizabeth Olsen did a really good job. And I do th- do too, but just not the best in the show. Um, yeah. Uh, other than that, it was it was a really good show. I really enjoyed it. Can't wait for new MCU shows and stuff. And, of course, I'll be reviewing uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier when it comes out on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, that kind of sounded like an advertisement. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll be doing that. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, my final rating for the WandaVision show is probably, uh, I would say 10 out of 10, honestly. For now, 10 out of 10, because I don't know, maybe the Falcon Winter Soldier could be a better show or something. Um, in terms of like excitement and stuff, I would say 10 out of 10. Because I'm going to be in all honesty, I wasn't, I didn't know what, what to say about this show when it first got announced. But after watching it, it was really good. If other shows can do that and change my mind and stuff like that, I think it'd be, the MCU would, MCU would just be fine. It would be really good. Uh, yeah, the last thing I'm going to be talking about is just quickly uh, sequel-wise. Uh, so yeah, they're treating these, as before, I said this before. They're treating, I'm pretty sure they're treating these MCU shows like movies. So, if they did it, and they said that they're not going to try and do like season twos or whatever. I'm pretty sure Loki's supposed to be getting a season two, but it hasn't come out yet. Uh, but like, that's rumored or whatever. Uh, but that's a different, that that's a different story because Loki is technically dead. And that sh- that's taking place in, in uh, like the past or whatever. Or I don't know what's taking place. It's it's strange, but yeah, that that's not what I'm talking about. But yeah, let's let's talk WandaVision on sequel. I'm pretty sure they said that's not gonna happen, but it's not like off the table. I don't think so. But yeah, like I, if I think I think if they do a sequel, I think they'll call it like Scarlet Witch or like one. Wanda- I don't think they'll call it WandaVision two or something. I think they'll call it like Scarlet Witch or something like that. Um, yeah, and this show was really well done, I must say, really, really exceeded my expectations, I must say, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it, thanks for watching, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.